So guys, I've been working on this painting for about a week now. I've got two days left to finish it. I've got my agent is coming to pick it up on Thursday. So Tuesday today, all of today, or the rest of today, all of tomorrow, but we're getting there. We just have this area of grass here to finish. I reckon you know, should get it done about midday tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna show you now um, like the three steps, three steps? Uh, yeah, three steps to get this um, an area of grass like this finished, a bank of grass. But if you do want to see me paint or you want to learn from me, um, check out MJS TV. There are now 60 lessons on it, 60 full lessons. That's hundreds and hundreds of hours of um, instruction there for you to check out. So go and have a look at that. We also do have an MJS TV app. So um, if you want to download any content to your iOS or Android device, you can do so. The link will be in the description below. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. All the brushes I'm using in this are also available from my store website, which is different to MJS TV. That's shopmichaeljamesmith.com. Um, anyway, let's get working on this now and I'll show you how I go about it. Okay, so you've probably heard me say this a million times, but this is blocked in in a mid-tone. So what we've done with the reference photograph, we've picked a colour in between the darks and the lights. This is the mid-tone. That's blocked in. Completely dry now. What we're going to now do is add the darks. It's important not to just add the darks willy-nilly everywhere. So we're covering the whole thing over, covering all of those valuable mid-tones in. We need to use those mid-tones. Mid we just need to be putting the darks where we can see them. So what I've got here is the fan brush. This is the Series 4 size 2. Um, I have some sap green and some ivory brown mixed in with some liquid original. So that's just going to give us a little bit of a, a darkening where we need it. So also trying to follow the pattern of the grass here. So the grass tends to be leaning over towards the water. But what we're doing, the darker colours, because it's um, because we've got liquid with it, that's giving us a glaze. Um, and we are just gradually darkening the colours of that, or well, some of the areas of the mid-tone. So because uh, if we weren't using liquid and it was just neat colour, then it would be it would be um, a little bit different. As I say, we can still see the mid-tone through this darker layer that we're putting on here. We can still see that. We don't want to completely cover that. That's a, an important part of the process. So it's going to go over this whole area doing this, adding the darks. We may need to adjust the colour of the darks. For example, the area down near the waterline here is a little darker. We might need to adjust that, but uh, it's going to be the same process. Okay, so that is the general darkening done. Now what we need to do is add, or start adding some of the highlights, working from the back and then working forward. We may well still need to add a few darker areas, but we're gonna start working on the majority of those lights first, but not the very lightest colors, the sort of probably the colors that are in between the very lightest and this mid-tone. So the colors that are a little bit further back, that can be done more on mass and we can continue with the fan brush for that so the series 4 size 2 gonna get that area of light in there and what I'm doing here is there's not too much paint on the brush um, and it has no thinner to it so this is pretty much straight from the tube and I'm just gonna do very small little downward brush strokes there and what that gives us is lots and lots and lots of blades of grass. Okay so we've now added a little bit of detailing in the background very much the same as I did on this side but now we need to add slightly different highlights to the areas that are nearer the foreground here. And for that we're going to use the rigger brush. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so before we then move further down into the area of the water here, I'm just going to add some really light areas of longer, maybe the dead grass that you get. And it's very much like a yellow colour like this, but it's quite bright. <laughs> 